Hi there, I'm Matthew from Patchworks, and today we're going to have a look at the Instru Athru, which is a fully featured analog wave folder. Taking a look at the Athru, we have an input here at the top of the panel, and an output directly next to it. And then we have this fader, which is actually going to control how much wave folding is done. Below that, we have an attenuverter for the CV input to also control the wave folding. To the right, we have the CV bias symmetry input. Below that, we have an attenuverter for the bias symmetry. When this bias switch is in the down position, the symmetry bias attenuverter functions as an attenuverter for incoming control voltage or audio signals. This means the control voltage can be applied to a parameter or two audio signals can be summed together before reaching the wave holding stage. When the bias switch is in the upright position, the symmetry bias attenuverter controls the DC offset amount applied to the signal present at the input. Below that, we have a CV input for the drive, and then we have the drive engage toggle right here, which just boosts the input prior to reaching the wave folder. All right, so for this first patch, we're gonna make a simple West Coast style synth voice. I'm gonna take the simplest waveform that I have in my oscillator, which is a triangle wave, closest thing to a sine wave I can get. I'm gonna plug that into the input of the Athru, and then I am going to take that output of the Athru, and plug that into the Mordax data, which I have going to my output module in post. Then I'm gonna take this envelope generator over here from Rainier. I'm gonna patch that into the CV input of the depth of the wavefold. So this is going to kind of act as a VCA opening up, but also the amount of wavefolding that's going to happen. I'm then gonna use my key step, which I have on the table here to control the gate for my envelope generator and the pitch for my oscillator. And that's it, we should be ready to go. So if you want to adjust how strong the wave folding is without completely opening up the wave folder and letting the audio just pass right through, you're gonna adjust it with your attenuverter here. So the more I turn this to the right, the more wave folding is gonna happen. So you can see it turns into a square wave, so it's just completely smashed. There's a harmonically rich waveform right here. Then we can play with the symmetry. So you can see I'm inverting the waveform. All the way to the far left, it's inverted. And here it's fully rectified. Great sounding analog wave folder. Here's a sequence. It sounds very wet, like a very resonant filter, but there is no resonance going into this. Pretty cool. Okay, for this patch example, we're gonna kind of build off the last patch. The only difference is that I switched over the oscillator type that's going into the input from the triangle to the sawtooth. I'm now gonna use the triangle here to be a second oscillator input into the Athru, which is going to sum the two waveforms together. So that in itself is gonna create a more complex waveform. And then we have control over the summing with this attenuverter here. And then we have control over the wave folding here. So it's pretty powerful and the sounds that you're able to come up with are incredibly complex and very usable musically. I have the bias switch down, which is how you're gonna want it to be if you want to create this patch. That allows you to sum the two waveforms together. This is me attenuverting that input signal, or attenuating. Adjusting the depth of the wave folding. You can hear it cruising through those harmonics. Kind of sounds like oscillator sync. Really cool sound. Let me engage the drive. 
now there's a whole lot more harmonics, but pretty much the same sound. Really great sound. I have noticed that if you fully engage the wave holding, it pretty much just turns it right into a pulse wave. So you want to be a little bit down. And you get some really great sounds. What I would recommend doing with a patch like this is taking that output and running it into a VCA. And then maybe running that, maybe taking the output and running it into a filter and then into a VCA. That's up to you. And then running into a, some reverb or delay would be a great idea after that. All right, for this last patch example, building off that patch again, kind of the exploration of the Athru here, the OP-1 is being run into the symmetry bias CV input, and I have the bias switch toggled up, so now I have manual control over the symmetry, so I can invert the signal if I'd like. And I have the Roland 510 synth going into one input, and I have the output running into the Mordax data just like before. But now, when I turn this attenuator up and bring the signal up to audio level so that you can hear it, I am uh, going to be mixing the drums with the oscillator voice together, and it sounds pretty crazy. <laughs> So no matter what, we're going to hear the drums. I can turn this off entirely. We no longer hear the synth voice, but we're still getting the wave folding of the drums. So you can see that this is the audio from the OP-1, and I can invert the signal here. It sounds completely different. It sounds pretty cool. Right in the middle, it's going to be just a wave-folded version of that audio. Bringing in the synth voice. And I take it out. Now if I switch the bias over, here in the middle, now it's kind of the dry sound of the OP-1. So now it's that summed version. And we could sum the other signal, the oscillator voice, in by bringing this fader up. The more we turn this attenuverter here, we'll start also folding that drum signal from the OP-1. We get some really crazy stuff. Sounds pretty cool to wave fold the drums, I think. Also adjust the filter. On the drums, that is. Some good sample fodder for uh, your samplers. Cool. Well, again, I'm Matthew from Patchworks. This is the Instru Athru, the analog wave folder, a very cool module, and I hope you enjoyed this demonstration and it inspires you to check it out yourself. Take care.